My name is Dr. Zizis Papandreou and I'm a professor in the physics department here at the University of Regina. And today what we're talking about is a device called the PhytoPET, where PET stands for Positron Emission Tomography. And this is the standard type scanning that you can see in hospitals for medical imaging for people. For the very first time, this is now applied to plants. So the way it works is essentially uh, we introduce uh, molecules or compounds in the plant that are things that the plant normally handles, like sugars for example, but we make one small change, we make one of the elements radioactive, which of course does not affect the plant, and the radioactivity is so small it doesn't affect the humans either. But what that does allow, uh, allow us to do is to peer inside the plant without destroying the plant. This is called non-invasive imaging and will tell us a lot about the physiology of plants. Well, what's very important is uh, to be able to grow better crops because we've all heard that we have issues with the global weather and there are drought conditions in many parts of the world and also the arable land uh, is staying the same or is being reduced. So clearly, under those conditions, we must be able to produce plants that can withstand drought conditions but also can give us higher efficiency in the crop yields. Traditional methods of studying this in agriculture involve understanding the interaction of the plant through its root system into the ground with the soil. So traditional methods involve taking the plant, destroying it, they're destructive methods, cutting it and counting it, which gives a lot of information, but what it does not give is the dynamic and the temporal evolution of what the plant is doing and how it's interacting with the soil. We are now in an era where everything has been reduced in size, uh, the electronics, the processors and all the technology is constantly being miniaturized. So what you see here is four detector heads. These are very complicated devices that are able to detect photons or also particles of light coming out of the plant. And those are produced in a site in the plant where a radioactive decay has taken part. These detectors detect them with high resolution and can project those particles back and reconstruct the site where that decay occurred in the plant. And therefore, sites that have higher activity tells us that the plant prefers to take the substances in those directions, and this is what biologists like to see. Uh, this is very exciting because uh, we have a chance here of becoming pioneers both in Saskatchewan and also in Canada in improving uh, our agricultural practices and particularly interacting with both the growers and the seed producers in producing better cultivars or better variants of the plants or specifically targeted ones that can deal with environments where there is drought or pests and so forth. But particularly what I'm excited about is all the collaborations. I'm speaking with biologists, with plant scientists. We have collaborators in the United States and we're trying to build a nexus here in Saskatchewan where we can apply high resolution imaging to such problems and improve things for Canadians as a whole.